Hello, today I'm in Amsterdam at the house of Mark Morel, a contemporary artist from America. He has been creating works of art since 1960. His first exhibition was in Daniel's Gallery in New York City in 1964, entitled Hard Edge. Hey Mark, how are you today? I'm fine. Cool. <laughs> Thank you for this interview. You're welcome. <laughs> how long have you been painting? For the last uh, 50 years or so. And painting and sculpture and photography and film. And how did it start? It? When did you start? I guess I started when I was in grade school, drawing, making drawings on papers that I should have been putting English and arithmetic and subjects like that. Could you give us a short overview of your different periods of your work? Um, yeah, good question. Well, I think my serious work, of course, began when I moved to New York. And at the time I was painting. Um, then meeting other artists and uh, becoming part of this sphere, the artist sphere in New, in New York City. I started to be inspired by also people around me and that uh, led to a whole period of uh, kind of hard edge painting, and then uh, later stuffed stuffed canvases, and uh, at one point the uh, the uh, war in Vietnam intervened, and uh, I made a series of work against the war in Vietnam, which uh, caused a lot of problems in America at the oh. time. What happened? Well, there was a court case that uh, went to this federal Supreme Court, and uh, that lasted, uh, I think, ten years. Really? Like that, yeah. And what kind of work did you make? Um, working with the American flag in a way that was uh, trying to show what America was doing with their presence in Vietnam. Who are your biggest inspirations or influences for painters and sculptors or photographers or any artists you like? Oh, that's difficult to say actually. Maybe you could say all of them, really. <laughs> <laughs> um, but are there specific ones that you, that you met along the way or, or is it every period of time different? Well, I was very, very inspired with uh, Marcel Duchamp, who I met along the way somewhere in the oh, that's cool. Museum of Modern Art cafeteria one time. And, uh, How was it to meet him? Wonderful, actually. It was wonderful. Uh, I, I feel blessed that I had the opportunity to meet him. Um, also Klaus Oldenburg, I think, with his stuffed canvas work, which also inspired me quite a bit. Nick Krushnik, which was a painter who uh, also inspired me quite a bit. Uh, yeah, there was a certain sphere going on in the 60s in New York also that was quite, uh, yeah, quite stimulating, in fact. And if you meet the artist, um, like Duchamp, for example, if you look at the work of him and and when you met him, is there similarity is to the work and to him, or does it reflect his work? Not really. No, uh, I was inspired by what he was what he was doing, but I didn't feel to to uh, kind of you know represent that in any way. 
it, it was just uh, a very inspiring what he was doing. And of course, when I was when I was young in in Philadelphia, I used to go to the Philadelphia Museum, and his pain, paintings were hanging on the wall there. So. It was a great introduction to say that I stood in front of your painting, <laughs> <laughs> which he replied, I hope my painting remembers you for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cool. Yes. What was the reason that you came to Holland? Did, you have, did it have anything to do with the political uh, work, artwork you made? Well, coming to Europe in general had a lot to do with it the political work. Why? Well, because I, I, I felt somehow that, that um, it was a very difficult time in America. I was not standing trial for the work. The, the, the gallery owner was standing trial, Susan Radish. And um, I felt I had, I had to leave, really, to, to just get my work out in Europe, because Europe for me was, was the place actually where it has a great history of, of art, and uh, this is where I wanted to have my work shown. Really. So it was the time that it was happening here? Well, it was, it was happening less in New York because of, I, I think one of the things was the war and, and discontent among everyone at the time about the war and, and the government and what was going on there. And I really felt uh, I had to I had to leave. And why Amsterdam? Well I didn't I didn't go to Amsterdam actually. I went to Paris first. Okay. I spent uh, about six months in Paris. Uh, unfortunately, Paris was also going through problems at the time with the student, uh, the student revolution at the Sorbonne, which uh, which was happening while while I was there. It was in the 60s, 68. And at one point, I I was I was working on a film, a film of uh, Che Guevara, and I was having difficulties having it having it finished there. So I had to go to England to ha to have it actually cut in a certain way that I, I needed to have it cut, and okay. uh, fell in love with London actually, and spent the next two and a half years in London, uh, giving lectures and painting and, and uh, having exhibitions there, really good exhibitions there. And then uh, at one point um, the money was uh, difficult. The finances became extremely difficult there to keep up an apartment and, uh, and live and eat. And uh, a friend of mine, uh, Mark Boyle, who's another artist, uh, actually suggested that I come to Amsterdam because this was a place actually where you could just go in a house and sit there if it was empty. That was called cracking. <laughs> I never cracked, sat in a cracked house, but uh, I did come to Amsterdam. That's how I came to Amsterdam. And then you stayed here? And then I stayed, yes. What is your artistic direction at the moment? Um, I'm just doing. This is, uh, I'm just now painting things and making things and I don't have a particular theme or, 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 or way because uh, I, I have a feeling that, uh, that I just want to make what I make and not. so it's more intuitive yeah you could say yeah sometimes the paintings tell me what they're, they want to be I heard you will soon have exhibition where will that be and when is it uh, there's a, two group exhibitions coming up, one, uh, one in Berlin and the other one in Hamburg. And there are exhibitions of a theme, which uh, involves my earlier work with the flags. And uh, it's called Freedom of Speech. And uh, my work will be included with many uh, many well-known artists and I feel very uh, very honored that they asked me to 
exhibit. <laughs> and where will when will uh, will they be the exhibitions? But the other ones in Hamburg, by the way. Yeah. yeah, but what time? Like in December or this year? Still 2010? Still or? Yes, the uh, Berlin uh, opening is on the 10th of December, and that will run until the 30th of uh, January. Okay. And the one in Hamburg that begins, they both have the same theme and many of the same artists. They're sharing the exhibition. Um, the one in Hamburg opens on the 18th of uh, December and that goes until March 27th. Okay. As far as I, I know, that was the last. Uh, That's nice. That I heard, yeah. Well, thank you very much for this uh, interview. You're welcome. <laughs>